Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Chase, the closer. And it is Monday, July 24th. And I am looking forward to selling some Kirby's today. Yesterday was Sunday. I had an awesome day. I went skateboarding. There was a new skate park that they just built in Newcastle, Indiana. I checked that out. It was a lot of fun. And now I'm ready to start this work week off with lots of demonstrations. I haven't been to Lafayette in quite a while, so I'm excited about getting out of town. But anyways, I'm super pumped up, I'm well rested, and I'm ready to go hard today. All right, I just got to Lafayette, rolled up in this really cherry neighborhood, about to get started. Wish me luck. All right, so I got out of my first demo, no sale. I have knocked eight doors. I've had five answers. So fifth demonstration, not a sale. So my numbers are going to catch up and I'm gonna be starting to get contracts very, very soon. All right, it is 5.05. I've been out knocking doors. I decided to head out into the county and uh, get out of the town of Lafayette. Um, I'm having a little bit uh, tougher time on doors than I was on Saturday. People are starting to get underneath my skin. So I'm uh, before I lose my all my positivity and my optimism, I'm going to go out into the county where uh, people are um, less solicited to. But I still have four hours, four and a half hours of knocking time. So I know that I'm gonna, if I get in right away and I uh, do a demonstration, you know, I have a chance of selling a Kirby. And you know, after that, if, it, if the demo goes quick, then I can get out and get back in and try to get a two piece. But I'm not gonna let um, these people that are rude to me dampen my demeanor because you know, sales is an attitude business. You gotta have a good, ad good positive attitude. So um, I'm gonna head out to the county where uh, people are a lot nicer. All right. Um, just a little quick update. Been knocking a little bit out in the county, and I think it's uh, important to you know share some of the things I go through. Um, a salesperson's head is when you knock on someone's door and they're just completely rude to you like makes our job I mean, our jobs are not that easy a lot of people think that you know door-to-door -door salespeople all they care about is just you know commission they think that all we care about is money. I mean, you know, the money is nice, but it's not the motivator. You know, what the motivator is, is personal growth, self-development, and just, you know, enjoying, you know, communication with people. But, like, no matter how positive you are as a person, like, when you face so much negativity from people, just being really rude to you, not even talking to you, shutting their door in your face, I mean, it's gonna hurt anybody. It's gonna, like, it's gonna eat away at you. But, you know, the reason why, you know, I don't let it eat at me to a certain degree is I know for you know every asshole actually it's probably like every 10 assholes you know there's one nice person out there and you know I'm smart enough to know that I'm gonna have to talk to assholes and have the door slammed in my face lots before I find that one nice person that's interested in listening to me and hearing me out. But 
I just think it's a you know it's a pretty you know sad world where you know you can make someone's job or make someone's life a hell because you know there's just no reason why there should be negativity in this world and I I, I love selling Kirby's I really do some days I love it more than I love others but it's just man sometimes people can really get underneath my skin and but I'm going to persist in knocking doors because you know one thing that you know a rhino does is it always charges forward and doesn't look back but I'm gonna keep working and I'm gonna get a sale all right so I, I headed out to the country uh, at seven o'clock I just got out of my second demonstration absolutely gorgeous house can afford a Kirby and they didn't buy it would only ever spend $500 on a vacuum cleaner <sighs> some days really really beat you up and this is one of them I just want to I just got done screaming at the top of my lungs and I'm so freaking pissed. But that's all right, I'm a fucking rhino. And I got two hours to get back in and sell a Kirby. So I don't know if, if something's in the water, the fucking moon, because there are Kirby customers out there that wanna buy a Kirby. And I'm not gonna, I'm not stopping until you know it's either nine o'clock or I got a sale. All right, it is 9.49. I just got up my third demo. I didn't get a sale. Um, so I uh, blanked Saturday and I blanked today. Definitely, definitely not thrilled about that. Um, you know, every day that I blink, it's just like putting gasoline on my fire. It just gives me more, um, more motivation to go out and work harder the next day. Because, you know, year after year, month after month, day after day, one thing that I definitely understand that all sales is, is a numbers game. You know, the, the effort that you put in is what you're going to get out. So I put in a lot of work and I put in a lot of effort these past couple days and I am not going to stop. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to get a good night's sleep and I'm going to straight work my butt off to get rid of these two machines. I am uh, gearing up for the next month is a... Uh, the 24th of this month and I'm not gonna stop working until I'm at the top because I've been selling door-to-door -door for 10 years and I've never been at the top I've always you know sold months of 15 I've got my five diamond medallion I've sold 15 20 months of 15 sales and I know I can sell a lot more than 15 Kirby's in a month. That just seems, you know, really easy. But, you know, I, I'm conditioning myself. I'm getting my mind right. And, you know, you got I've got to stay focused and, you know, reapply some of the things that, you know, I sort of forgot about. Um, you know, that's what it really, really boils down to. It's just like how much work, you know, how much focus and how much control you can have. And that's one thing that I feel like I've been lacking the uh, previous, you know, time in Kirby is I'm, I'm lacking the, the control. I've, uh, you know, came to the, the realization that 
you know, people, you know, even though there's really nice people out there, you know, there's a lot of, you know, not so nice people and a lot of just uh, people that are just there. So I'm going to have to take control of every single situation that I come across and I'm going to use it and make it go the way that I want. I'm going to make it go the way that I want it to go because a lot of people don't realize that the product that I have, you know, will save them thousands and thousands of dollars over the process of their lifetime. And, you know, a lot of people just don't think about, you know, that on an everyday basis. But, you know, I've been trained to really, really have lots of education on these systems. So, you know, tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow, today, is a, a, what you call it, a cancel check, as Jimmy would say. But when it comes down to it, I'm not going to stop working. You know, yes, I'm pissed off because I'm a sold in two days. But, you know, it's, it's nothing that I haven't went through before. And I know I always come up on top. And I know that there's, you know, a check that's going to be written a credit card that's going to be charged or a budget plan that's going to be set up you know, if there's a will there's a way and people definitely definitely enjoy a clean home so anyways I wish I had more positive news to report um, but I mean this is real shit I mean hard working you know salesperson you know we put in 12, 13, 14 hours a day. And, you know, it's not about making money. The money is nice, but it's not the only reason why I sell vacuum cleaners. I sell vacuum cleaners because I believe in the product. I believe everybody should own one. And I believe that everybody should have a clean home. You know, I sacrifice, you know, a good, good chunk of my life dedicated to the work that it takes to be successful and I just want to you know for the people that I've run across I'm just having a hard time you know coming up with the right words to say but you know I'm definitely feeling aggravation but I'm also feeling motivation and I'm pretty sure that's a deadly combo but anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.